to Marriage Minutes at His Pace. And today, we're, we're gonna talk about what? <laughs> How many have we done of this? I Jeez. just, you just Jeez. never get it, man. We're talking about what? The five love languages. Cinco. Okay. The five love languages were designed by Dr. Gary Chapman. It's a wonderful book. We probably should have had the book down. Probably should have had the book. But we don't have the book down here, but we know the five love languages like the back of our hand. And I wrote them on the back of my hand so I didn't forget. So the five love languages are simply this. We express love and give love in different ways. Yes. So I receive love best a certain way, and Mark receives love best a certain way, and they're different. Her love languages, one of the five, acts of service. So what does acts of service do? Me doing stuff around the house. Say not, one more time. Me, the man, doing stuff around the house. Doing what? Not just outside stuff. Doing but what? like if like I wash what? the like, dishes. What, what about this? Oh, about I cut your hair. Can you cut my hair? Yeah, I can cut your hair. Or other things around the house, you receive that as love. Yes, I feel like when the I come home and the dishes are done and stuff is not all over the floor, I feel like wow, he appreciates the fact that that I do that and that he and that I don't have to do it. It means that he loves me. Yes. Acts of service. That's the Acts first. Acts of service. That's the most important. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the next one is words of affirmation. Yes. Words of affirmation. That is my husband's love language, at least last time I checked. Oh, it still is. Okay. Words of affirmation are simply this. Husband. Yes. You know that lawn that's out in front of my house? Yes. It is the bombdiggity.com. And I just love the fact that you grew our lawn so well. And I appreciate the fact mm -hmm. that you do that for us. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Mm -hmm. Words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. All right. Do we know the other ones? The other ones are quality time. So it's not taking somebody out on a date. It's not necessarily. I got a good example of what it is. Okay, go ahead. It's, I'm in the family room, wife is upstairs, and, me? yeah, Not you, you the wife, <laughs> okay. but we're not together. So then I come upstairs, even though I'm watching the game, and I really, really enjoy watching the game. That's not right now. because It's not right now, because ain't no game. <laughs> but I'll hit record, and then I'll come up there and watch TV with you. Oh, are you going to start doing that? No, not at all. Quality time. Quality time. Or just not necessarily watching TV together, but just do, being together, doing an activity together in close proximity to one another. Without distractions. Without distractions. I'm coming up on one. Oh, man. That's physical touch. Yes, it is. <laughs> physical touch is not necessarily physical intimacy, but it's hand-holding. Or, hand or, or leading to physical intimacy well, it, might. it might but it doesn't have to doesn't have to it's hand holding one of the things me and my husband fight about is he has a hard time showing public what you call it pda public displays of affection so he doesn't y'all that y'all that know my husband know <laughs> anyway it's hand holding it's caressing see, it's that's rubbing somebody's the camera back. line see that so it's like just putting your hand up there and your wife holds your hand and just hold hands, you know. That's well, why I feel like I'm the kid. <laughs> Walking across <laughs> the street. Oh, you know, sometimes they sitting and you just hug, you know, and just rub their shoulders. Or sometimes you just slowly, she says I manhandle all the time. But... Maul, like a puppy. <laughs> so sometimes you just kind of, you know, rub your fingers through their hair, you know, or just, if they're talking, you just kind of let them know I hear you. And, you know, that's physical touch. Amen. Oh, the last one is giving gifts. Gifts. Let me tell you something about that. My husband loves to give gifts, oh, but he it. doesn't like to receive them. Hate so it. it's interesting to me. But giving gifts. And Mark and I have been together for a long time. So I can tell you that some of our gifts used to be like just something as simple as, I can't tell about my uh, bubble You was talking about the long time piece. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're going to argue about this bubble yarn. <laughs> Which one? What is it, honey? You can say it. Strawberry banana bubble yarn. That's not the kind of gum he used to give me. But he used to he used to go to White Hand Pantry when he used to come to my to see me at my dad's house and he would buy me bubble gum or blow pop charm suckers. Gifts. They're not he expensive. Still does that. 
So every now and then, you pop, you know. Don't pop me in your mouth. His gifts have gotten much more expensive now, though. <laughs> right. Much more expensive now. Go fund me. <laughs> so anyway, are we going we're to recap? Review? Yeah, yeah recap. let's recap. So the last one we talked about was gifts. Yes. Physical touch. Yes. Acts of service. Yeah, that should be the first one. Go ahead. Words of affirmation. Yes. And quality time. Quality time. Now the problem in marriage. I'm sorry, Ray. Go ahead. No, go ahead. The problem in marriage is that if act, acts of service is my love language, I often want to show love that way. That's not the way he receives it. So I can have the house clean, do everything for him. And he's like, okay, that's Take my shoes off, throw them in the middle of the floor. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do that stuff. But if I affirm him, so it's like me speaking French and he's speaking Italian. I can't speak French to him and he receive love that way and get the feeling of love from me. And he Italian. can't, but I have to learn Italian. And likewise, he can't just speak French. Italian to me. He has to learn how to Hollywood speak French. Hollywood French. So learn your, your spouse's love language. If you don't know, there's a test. I'm sure you can go to the five love languages.com or something like that. Dr. Gary Chapman, something Dr. like Gary that. Chapman. Look up the love language test if you don't know what your love languages are. But most importantly, do the work. Study your spouse. Figure out what their love language is yes. and do that. Do it. Do it. Do it. You can't just say, okay, that's my love language and you better do what serve me. Do it. I love what we learned today. Marriage, what is it? Marriage work is hard work? No, it's not hard work. Marriage is hard work, yes. But it's necessary, necessary work. work. All right, and you can love five, you can love your spouse yeah. at his. his pace. Be well and be blessed. Mm -hmm.